Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making shurpa, which is a lemon vegetable soup. It is a very popular dish in Central Asia in countries like Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Kyrgyzstan. Today I'm making red shurpa, which is mostly popular in Uzbekistan. So let's get started. We're going to use garbanzo beans in our soup. So we're going to start the day before. And I'm going to use the dry garbanzo beans. And oh boy, these guys have so many names. They call them garbanzo beans. They call them chickpeas. They call them Egyptian pea. Uh, they call them hummus in Arabic or hummus. And in um, Uzbekistan, they call them nut. So we're going to take about two cups of dry chickpeas and we're going to pour cold water over them. And we're going to leave them to soak overnight. And next day you have them all plumped up. And if you just want to go a little bit extreme in making your soup and be a very efficient and perfectionist you're going to remove the little skins off of them traditionally this soup is made with lamb so i have about two pounds of rack of lamb and i have about a pound of lamb shoulder but you can make it with either chicken or beef the reason I like this soup so much because it has tons of vegetables. So here we have our soaked garbanzo beans, uh, two cups of them. We're going to need about five uh, golden potatoes. We're going to need two different onions, one yellow onion and one Vidalia, which is a sweet onion and it looks a little bit more flatter. We're going to need two carrots. We're going to need three different color peppers, but I'm only going to be using half of them. And we're also going to need some fresh herbs. And I have some green onions, I have some cilantro and dill. We need a large pot for making our stock. So I have an eight quart pot here. We're going to load our meat in there and we're going to pour about five quarts of water. And I have this little guide, this little button, so I know where the five quarts are. And we're going to put it on the stove on a high heat to boil. Before we come back to our lamb stock, let's talk about spices quickly. And um, I'm going to use a tablespoon of cumin. In Uzbekistan, they call it zira. And I'm also going to use two bay leaves. Uh, that's going to give our stock some flavor. I'm also going to use black peppercorns, maybe like 10 or 15. And I'm going to use Hungarian paprika. We need a full tablespoon of that. We're going to use some kosher salt, about a tablespoon, some uh, freshly ground black pepper. And for spiciness, I'm going to use dry red chili pepper. As your stock uh, reaches the boiling point, you're going to see this foam forms on top of your uh, stock. And you need to remove it and kind of move the meat around so you can remove most of it. As your lamb stock reaches the rolling boil point, we're going to reduce the heat and we're going to flavor our stock. We're going to put our yellow, yellow onion cut in half, some salt and pepper, some black peppercorns, and we're going to close the lid and we're going to simmer it for one hour. Vegetables are loaded in this soup in stages, so we're going to start with the hardest vegetables, so the ones that take longer time to cook. Uh, so I'm going to do my potatoes and carrots first. I'm going to cut the carrots on the bias, and if you have a small potatoes like mine, just cut them in half. After one hour of simmering, we're going to remove our flavorings uh, that we put into the stock, which is our onion. And uh, try to fish out as many peppercorns as, <laughs> as you can. And if you counted them, then you can just remove them by count. But if you left couple, it's not a big deal. And at this point, we're going to put our hot pepper in there and this uh, beautiful Hungarian paprika, uh, which is going to make our soup very red. We're also going to put two bay leaves and we're going to put our cumin. And just to get a little bit more flavor out of your uh, cumin, you need to rub it between your palms. Then we're going to load our carrots and potatoes. We also going to add our garbanzo beans. And we're going to leave it on simmer for about 20 minutes. 
As our soup simmering, we need to prepare the vegetables that are gonna go into soup next, which are bell peppers, because they take a little bit less time to cook. Uh, I have three different colors here. I have red, yellow, and orange, but I'm only gonna use half of each, and I'm gonna cut it into very wide strips. I'm also gonna use Vidalia onion. Why Vidalia onion? It's a much softer onion, because we add in it at the last moment and also a sweeter onion when added to the soup is just gonna disintegrate in the stock but gonna add tons of flavor our potatoes and carrots are almost ready so we're just gonna take out the hot pepper and we're also gonna take um, two bay leaves unless you guys want to leave them as a present to somebody and at this point, we're gonna load our bell peppers and our Vidalia onion in the soup. And we're gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes. And the last thing that's gonna go um, into our soup is fresh herbs. And I chose uh, fresh dill, cilantro, and green onions. And if you're telling me I don't like cilantro, Oh well, too bad, because parsley is not a choice for this soup. It's practically not used in Central Asian cooking. Cilantro is the one um, to use, uh, use the most. We're going to reserve some of the fresh herbs so we can decorate our soup with or just serve it on the side. And the rest of the chopped herbs are going to go into soup last. And at this point, you're just going to turn off the heat, you're going to close the lid, and you're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes so things can just get settled in there. And um, our soup is done. And of course, the last thing we need to do is taste the soup. So just taste your soup. If it doesn't have enough salt, just add a little bit more salt. If you want, you can add a little bit more of the freshly ground black pepper and then taste it again. And it's time to serve our soup. And this is how traditionally it's served in Uzbekistan. So first you're gonna put your lamb in the bowl and then you're gonna start pouring your soup. Just making sure that every person will get the same amount of vegetables. So they get the carrots and the uh, bell peppers and the uh, garbanzo beans in their bowl and decorate it with some more fresh herbs and traditionally in Uzbekistan the soup is uh, enjoyed with some Uzbek bread I first tried this soup at my friend's house uh, who are from Uzbekistan and to be honest with you it was like tasting some happiness <laughs> in the bowl it was so delicious and it was served in the summer and because this soup is kind of on the heavy side, in Uzbekistan, they usually have some green tea right after they've eaten that soup. So just make some green tea and enjoy it. Buon appetit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.